Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a database on our StackNZ server using the cPanel interface. The first step is to go to the stackNZ.com website, so www.stackNZ.com and then put on slash cPanel at the end and it should prompt a login. Now um, your username for you will be your regular username that you've been using in Dreamin Dreamweaver when we've been doing the FTP stuff. So uh, that'll probably be your surname and first initial and then whatever password you've chosen. And when you come in you'll probably be prompted um, as to whether or not you want the new user guide. I'm going to say no, I'm fine, thank you. Um, and if you scroll down through the many, many options you have available to you, uh, towards the bottom you find the databases section. Click on the MySQL databases link and this will take you through here. And there are three things we need to do. We firstly need to create a new database, then we need to add a new user, and then we need to assign that user to the database. So the first thing to do is to create the database. I'll click here. I'm going to call mine News. Now you can call yours anything you want, but if you're doing the Mexican restaurant project, I'd suggest you call it something like El Sombrero with no spaces. Or if you're doing the tourism one, you might want to call it the name of your country, something like that. But I'm going to call mine News. And there we go. So if I scroll down a bit now, you can see I have a database there. Next thing to do is to add a new user, so I'm just going to put myself in here um, with a super tricky password. And create. And there we are. There's my user with my password. And if we come down here, you can see the last thing is add user to database. So there's my user. There's my database. If I click on add, it tells me uh, or asks me what privileges I want this user to have. Now I just want to be able to do everything, so I'll click on all and then check make changes. So now I've been added to that database. So uh, I'll just double check that. Here we are. There's my database, the user. So it's all set up. So now we are ready to go into uh, PHP MyAdmin, which is the database interface, and uh, start adding tables and data. So that's the end of this tutorial.